It's Rob on the Road, discovering the stories that capture the unique spirit of Northern California. Here's KVIE's Rob Stewart. The signature handprint right there, yes. seen all across the world. Yes, and the signature sweat. <laughs> Good to see you, David. Thank you. Unbelievable. Thank you. Einstein. Yes, yes. And you are an Einstein in your own right. Boy, this is an amazing talent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Where in the world did you come up with this wonderful performance painting? Well, you know, my whole life I've always been an artist. I've always been into music and dance. And it wasn't until I saw the work of Denny Dent, the uh, father of this performance painting, you know, I saw it. I was inspired and I wanted to take on this art form. Well, I'll tell you, this is an amazing creation and you are really getting international buzz. Yes. How does that make you feel? You know, it's, it's surreal because I'm still this kid from Sacramento. My studio is still in Sacramento and uh, I'm still a dreamer. So I still, there's things that I still see that I haven't done yet. And I just want to keep working hard. This is a body workout, your dream. <laughs> Not it with is. just paint, but with sweat. It is, yes, yes. <laughs> and so I think uh, you told me you lost quite a bit of weight doing this too. I did. When I started, I was about 250 pounds. And now I'm about 185-ish. And, uh, you know, it, and a lot of it has to do with, you know, eating better. But really wanting to get, if I really wanted to take this serious, I also had to get healthier for it as well. So You also did a nationwide tour with Blue Man Group. You Correct. were the opening act with this performance painting. Correct. Yeah, I was the opening act for their arena tour. And uh, it was an incredible experience, and uh, they are a fun, fun group to travel with. What are you thinking about? What is going through David Garibaldi's head while you're doing this? Well, you know, you know, some people mistake this for speed painting. So some people may think that I'm just trying to get it done quickly, but really, I'm just, I'm just sort of dancing, you know, with my heart to the music and with paint in my hands. Um, it's like a freestyle to the music, so I I'm sort of not really thinking. I'm just going with the flow of the music. It is honestly shocking that you do this with just such blind vision. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, and, you know, a lot of it has to do with preparation too, you know, preparing for a moment uh, with anything, you know, whether you go to school to study for the moment, you know, if you're going to be a doctor, you want to be able to make sure you're ready for the moment to perform surgery or even just give a shot on someone. For me, it's about performing and, uh, you know, engaging people in the performance. So it's just a matter of preparing and, and uh, taking it serious. How does this inspire you? You know, what inspires me is seeing how it benefit and inspires others. Because, uh, you know, how much money we've been able to raise for charities, uh, nonprofit organizations. Because you donate your works for? Correct, yeah, for, uh, you know, everything from Special Olympics to Easter Seals and California Police Youth Charities, you know, and the list goes on. But also even, uh, you know, going to high schools, universities, and using it as a platform to speak and tell my story as well. So, so seeing them inspired keeps me going and knowing there's so many other people that need to be touched through this. Well, you know, part of your story is that you started doing this when you didn't have a job. I was painting very fast, but as fast as I was learning how to paint, I was going broke at light speed. I had to start selling these paintings fast. I started doing this when I didn't have a job. I was going to lose my apartment and, uh, and my car literally got repossessed. And I thought, you know, this creativity that lives inside of me you know, that's not gonna fire me. You know, the creativity's there, it's free. So I went to places where people were into art and music. 
I started painting live at jazz clubs, at nightclubs. I'd walk up, convince the bouncer to let me in, I'd set up, and I would create these paintings, and I would sell them each night, but it had to be bigger. So I literally started putting it to work, and that's when, that's when everything changed. Mm, beautifully said. And now your wife is your manager, yes. your brother is here working with yes. you as well. It's become a uh, family business. So. Mm -hmm. Now what is it that you want people to know about you? Because you told me that one of your goals is to inspire. So what is it you want people to know about your inspiration? You know, uh, you know what I do, I'm a performance painter, but like I said, I see this as a platform. And to know that not only do I want people to be entertained, but also to benefit and be inspired by what I do. So whether my story can reach you or whether you know, we can raise funds for, for charities and nonprofit organizations, that's really the, the ultimate goal out of all of this. Well, and that is the best thing when you use art for a higher power. We have definitely been inspired and entertained by you today, David. Thank you very much. I'll let you get back to your brushes and your amazing Thank work, you. but you like to do the best. Right? I, I will. All right. All right. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Hey, make sure you check us out online. All of our stories are available at kvie.org slash Rob on the Road. That's going to do it for us this time. Rob on the Road, amazing artist. We will see you next time right here on Rob on the Road. To explore other places with Rob, log on to kvie.org slash Rob on the Road.